Hey, what's happening? It's Brayden. I'm meeting up with Caroline from Sterling Social, who do, they plan amazing events. Actually shot her wedding, and we're gonna shoot a couple more details from that over at the studios of JL Designs, who does amazing floral, and gonna be walking you through just sort of how we're setting that up, how we're shooting it. Here it is, check it out. Sterling Social doing some styling here. This is stuff from her own wedding, actually, which is pretty cool. And let's see how that looks. Straight up and down. Uh, it's gonna have to come more this way. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and then let's let's get it. Make sure that it is exactly because we've got the wood grains now. Um, do we care? about like this being on the edge. Do we want that in the shot? If so, we need to scoot it this way a little bit. Leg for counterweight balance. So I shot the wide of that whole scene, and I also want to get in a little bit tighter, which will be just the stationary and some flowers. So I shot that horizontally, then I'm going to shoot vertically as well. It's really important when you're shooting something like this, that if you're at an angle coming here, there's going to be the perspective where the base is going to be smaller than the top, just because you're or bigger, one of the two but there's gonna be a weird skew of the image, so I wanna get directly on top and shoot straight down, that's what I'm aiming to do. Generally, you need a ladder for that. So, for details, when I'm shooting down and there's stuff at different heights, I really, I, sh I generally shoot it at F4 because I, if I'm shooting at F2, there's a chance that there's gonna be something out of focus, so I want everything that I'm shooting to be in focus. Krissa of JL Designs working her <laughs> magic. <laughs> So this is a little darker in here. It's like a 30th. Darker? At four, yeah, it's a little darker. But, um, are you wanting the flower on there? together, I don't think we'll see that that hand is missing. Okay.
Hope you loved that video. If you did, just subscribe below. It's a little button right below this video and got a lot more coming. I also, down below, I always try to put in just what the equipment that I use, where you can get it, if that's helpful, hope so, and a lot more stuff to come, so check you later.